Hello, this is E from Sewing in Color, and today we're going to make a kimono dress. So we're going to select the polygon tool, and we're going to start from the center, and always left clicking, you click and you click, draw the line, you click. Um, this part is the sleeve part, so I'm going to make it a little wider. And with the kimono, of course, it's not like, um, well, this sleeve, it's not like the regular sleeve. Here, practically, you need two pieces of pattern, okay, the front and the back. So I'm going to double click here now, and this is the first piece. And I'm going to want to maybe make a slight adjustment. Oops, simulated. And the adjustment, I'm going to be rounding the underarm part here. That area here, make it a little rounder. So first, I'm going to click on the Edit Pattern tool, click on the point, and convert it to Curve Point. So there it's um, the way I wanted it. I deleted this point here because I'd like to sort of uh, shape it using the Edit Curvature tool. And then I'd like to shape the neckline. So I'm going to use the Point uh, tool, put some points there. And with the Edit Pattern tool, delete this point here, delete it here, convert it to a curve point. No, let's, no, delete it instead. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. With the Edit Pattern tool, I'm going to click on this line and unfold it. Then with the Transform tool, I'm going to do the Copy, right-click in the pattern, Copy, right-click again, Paste. I'm going to put it more in front of the avatar and then horizontal, flip it horizontally by right-clicking and then flip horizontally. Then I'm going to just move it, oops, move it there, like that, to the back. Then we're going to proceed to segment sew. Try to fix the patterns uh, so that when you segment sew, you know, you have maybe less problems. Okay, it didn't work out right the first time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click, put Control Z, just to go back. And then I'm going to arrange the patterns properly in front of the avatar. Okay, so when I simulate, at least the dress fits on the avatar. Okay, so now that I'm satisfied, it's I simulate and it fits. Everything's in place now. So here we have this kimono dress, the kimono sleeves. Of course, you can adjust your sleeves, uh, make them larger, deeper, under the arm, and uh, etc. So now I'm going to make just a little color for this dress. So what I'm going to do is 
for the neckline, I'm going to go to the points on both uh, necklines, front and back. And with the edit pattern tool selected, I'm going to hold down shift, select that point, select that other point, and convert it to a curve point. So you have a curvature of the neckline, both front and back. I'm going to select both again, holding down shift always with the edit pattern tool selected and pull them up a little because well, I think they were just too far down. I'm going to simulate a little to get that all adjusted and I'm going to try to adjust it uh, the dress around the neckline so that it's like even. Well, here's what I'm going to just, um, I'll leave that alone for now. And I'm going to proceed to making the, the color for this uh, neckline. So what you do is you select your rectangular pattern tool and you want to bring up your avatar a bit in the 2D pattern window. So you, the rectangular pattern tool and here is you make this uh, rectangle more or less, I'm not going to calculate, but you know, more or less uh, the measurements of the neckline. So I'm going to make two, one for the front and one for the back. I'm going to copy and paste this front one. Right click, copy, right click, paste. And then I'm going to flip it horizontally and place it to the back. Now, when you're satisfied, you've placed everything to the back. I think I'm satisfied. I'm going to start segment sewing. Okay, we simulate. I think we're satisfied. And um, we adjust it a bit, you pull the material a bit, and more or less, yes, we fixed it. Now, okay, so it looks much better like this now. Okay, it's not sagging to one side, and it's okay. It's okay. So now that we've created this simple kimono dress with this uh, little short collar, we can proceed to, yes, we're going to just add some color or textures, patterns. So we're going to go to the Bobby Object Browser and even the property editor. So I'm going to go to the property editor to select a color or texture.
Now let's see, select a color maybe. So I think I would select a text here. And um, yes, from some of um, my text here is there. And uh, see, yeah, this is the text here, I think. This was made with um, acrylic and it's uh, abstract art. So, and then I download them. I do it, download them, and then I, I use them with these uh, garments. Make it a little thicker and uh, it's a bit transparent and that's okay. Then I think I'd like to just, uh, I'm going to choose a color for the color and uh, see, I'm going to choose red. And here's what I'm going to, yes, let's choose again. Okay, there it goes. And I think that's uh, good enough. And uh, uh, here she is. So until the next video, this is E from Sewing in Color signing off now. Have a nice day.